I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. It is time to get stuff done. All of this stuff is baby stuff that needs to be organized and put in the right spot. I'm definitely benefiting now from my decision to set a lot of this aside. The other thing that I want to get done is just finishing off my little like postpartum basket. I'm very happy with how all this turned out. guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to today's extreme nesting vlog i am currently 37 weeks pregnant so this is a little bit delayed but in my defense i did find out that i'm a little bit further along than i expected and so it is time to get stuff done so in this vlog we are going to do all of the things that i need to do hopefully in a couple of hours before my kids come back i have sent them out for a couple of hours my husband is going to be kind of in and out helping with some stuff today. Here are all of the things we need to do. We had to pull down all of the baby bins from the garage, which is now accomplished, so I can check that one off the list. I need to sort through and kind of organize my baby clothes by age and then get them washed. We need to set up the bedside bassinet, clean out and install the upper baby car seat, clean the upper baby bassinet attachment. I need to unbox a bunch of new baby products. I want to create a very simple baby play basket for like zero to three months, set up a change table zone in our bedroom, create a postpartum basket, set up the baby's drawers in our bedroom, sterilize all the new soothers, sterilize all my breastfeeding gear, so pump parts, the haka, sterilize the baby bottles, pack a hospital bag, and then I need to change my timeline for my birth tub pickup. Right now, I don't have it scheduled until I'm like 39 weeks in a couple days, which is just too late. We need to make the call that that's going to be picked up earlier, so we have a lot to do today, as you can see. If you are also having a baby and are needing some extreme nesting motivation, I hope that you enjoy coming along with me on the journey today. I'm also excited to be working with KiwiCo on this video, so stay tuned for a special offer from them as well. Okay, let's start with this bin here. This bin looks to be like very clearly just baby stuff, so I feel like this is a good starting point. Honestly, pulling everything out that has been like accumulating dust or shoved into bins, unlabeled. All of that is so much harder than unboxing like brand new baby stuff for your first baby. I have to say that like nesting for your first, as much as there's a lot of like first time setup, is so much easier than nesting for subsequent children. I think I'm gonna do like one section that is swaddles and burp claws and blankets and then another section that is clothing and then wash them in batches to try and like keep my head on straight. I don't know what all the sizes are on these but this one is newborn so I'll pull that one out for now. This is the little like change mat cover for the change table. Okay we've got some witch hazel but it looks like it's slightly leaky so I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to that. Some post-birthing bath that I had for my midwives last time. Reusable nipple pads, which I'm honestly not a huge fan of. I more so prefer the disposable ones just because I found that I had to wash the reusable ones so often and never actually had them ready when I needed them. One pair of obviously extra disposable Freedom Mom underwear. And then of course the good old silverettes, which definitely look like they need a good cleaning. The good old faithful Perry bottle. Definitely gonna need that. I am impressed that I got this in there, but this is my mattress for the bassinet and the cover definitely needs to be washed on it. We also need to set that bassinet up today. So I'm gonna put that over there. But the rest of this stuff is just like car seat gear and some stroller pieces that I don't need to deal with right this second. So we're gonna put that stuff back in here and move on to the next. Okay. I did want to look through some of the baby clothes that I had put aside in these special boxes though because I feel like it would be cute to have her little sister in some of those like special pieces that she wore as well. I have my first ever hospital blankie in here. There's literally a lock of my first child's hair. Oh, this is so sweet and I would love to see that on her again. So I'm gonna add this to the clothing pile.
Okay, so these are the like keepsake boxes that I had put away, but there's definitely gonna be some pieces in these that I wanna reuse for our second girl. The nice thing is that our daughters are born at like similar times of year in terms of sizing and things like that in weather. So I'm gonna be able to get a lot of good use out of these things. And to be honest, I have bought like no new baby clothes for this baby girl. There's like a couple of things, but not much at all other than what friends have given us just because I've known that we've had all of these cute pieces set aside for her. I'm definitely benefiting now from my decision to set a lot of this aside. We have a lot to wash and I'm feeling good about where her wardrobe is at so far. This is the most recent baby bin that I put away because it has all the stuff that I would have saved from our baby boy, which was only like a year and a half ago. So let's dive in and see what other goodies we can find. I don't wanna pull everything back out of here because a lot of it is, again, very specific to my baby boy, but there are some things that just got combined in here. Like I have some little baby bloomers and shorts that I'll pull out for baby girl. These are baby shoes that all of our kids have shared now. And so I definitely need to get a photo of our baby girl. I almost keep saying her name, but I need to get a photo of her in those two because now it's just like a sibling thing, which is so fun. Okay, now time to show you guys everything that I need to wash. So here is the full baby girl collection. All of this clothing here is like zero to nine months. I've gone through every single bin that I have and pulled everything out. So I need to wash all of this. And then I think I'm gonna sort it from like zero to three months into the drawers and then have a separate basket that's just in our house within close reach for the larger sizes. But some of this stuff I'm also gonna hang up in the closet in the girls' room as well, just because it's cute and it can be hung in the meantime until she grows into it I have our little baby towels here that I will wash and get ready for her and then over here is like my just general baby gear so I have a couple of Solly wraps I have some burp claws I have covers for the mattress pad of the bassinet I had a ton of swaddles so I didn't even pull all of them out but these are the ones that I'm gonna just start with for now and then just a bunch of little like cute baby girl accessories so it is time to do some laundry. I feel like that's gotta be one of the most exhausting things that I have on my to-do list for today. So cheers to having that one done. This is where our little like change table setup is eventually gonna go. All of this stuff is baby stuff that needs to be organized and put in the right spot. I have like a mix of some birth stuff here, some postpartum stuff, and also just like general baby care things. But the next thing that I think I'm going to do is some product unboxing. I'm not gonna show you guys everything that I have just yet because I am going to do a separate video where I do like a haul of everything that I've purchased for baby number three, but I do have a number of products that need to be sterilized and first need to be unboxed, like soothers, bottles. So let's pull all of those things out so we can get them cleaned. On the unboxing front, I do have like a couple of new things that need to be washed. I grabbed a couple like girlier shades of just some bodysuits from H&M that I really like for the beginning stages when they still have the umbilical cord attached. So I need to wash those as well. But I also have a baby blanket for her that needs to be washed. I have one more fancy swaddle that I treated myself to. And then the last thing that needs to be washed, I'm pretty sure at least, are a couple of the burp claws that I purchased or was sent. So let's unwrap all of those now so we can just throw them into the wash on the next round. And then after that, I won't have any more baby laundry to do.
so while my husband is setting up the bedside bassinet and all of my pump parts are cooling down because they are boiling hot right now I thought I would get started on just like pulling out some of our newborn and baby specific toys for the baby obviously newborns and babies don't need that many toys you really are the main toy for them they want to hear you talk to them sing to them hold them interact with them but there are some things that you can introduce into your baby's playtime while they're still really young to help them as they develop their vision their hearing their gross motor skills tummy time is obviously one of those things but to help me with all of that I'm so excited because we just received the newest version of the let's bond crate and if you've never heard of KiwiCo before they have designed something called the KiwiCo panda crate which is for babies and toddlers between the ages of 0 to 36 months and they are crates that you can have delivered to your doorstep that are full of really fun and engaging toys and activities that are all researched backed and this is a bi-monthly crate that includes resources for parents three to six stage specific play items as well as one grow with me play item that's really designed to benefit your baby into further stages of their development as well there are so many different crates available and you can actually preview on the KiwiCo website to see what all of them look like before you sign up for the specific stage that your baby or toddler is currently in but to give you guys a little bit of a preview of what comes in their bond with me crate it has this tummy time mirror which if you have seen a lot of my other newborn videos you guys will have recognized this this is an updated version of the one that we had with our son Jude and I refer to this so many times as one of my like MVP baby play items because it is so engaging for newborns and I love that it's double-sided but that it also works so well with the black and white cards that KiwiCo provides in this crate because you can slip those into the little pocket here so you can change the visuals and keep them really simple in the beginning and then as your baby gets a little bit older you can increase the complexity of what they're seeing too this is a new addition that I'm really excited about it's this little tummy time pillow tummy time is something that is so important for helping babies to grow in their head and neck control and strength but newborns oftentimes don't love it it can be kind of uncomfortable for them at first so this is like a little soft tool to help prop them up support them in the tummy time process but then you can also kind of dangle toys in front of them to help them stay engaged and I'm really excited to try this out with our baby girl as I mentioned it did also come with these black and white visual stimulation cards as well as this little sweet lovey which can help with the beginning stages of reaching and grasping so that is everything that came in our crate but as I mentioned because we have panda crate plus we also got the grow with me sensory play mat and this thing is so soft and so cute I have to show you guys it's super soft and extra cushy and there's just so many different like tactile elements that I know our little girl is going to be so interested in exploring and this mat is designed to help with gross motor and fine motor skills sensory development as well as hearing and vision it does also include little loops on the side so if you have toys at home that you want to introduce you can attach them through the little loops and begin the very early stages of toy rotation as well as I mentioned this is our third baby that will be benefiting from the KiwiCo panda crate and it is so nice to have the confidence as a mom that my kids are playing with re researched back and developmentally appropriate toys and activities. As a new parent, there's already so much that you are spending your time thinking about from sleepless nights to feeding schedules and a lot of it can feel very overwhelming. So I know that these crates have helped to alleviate a lot of my stress and just give me the confidence that the time that I am getting playing with my kids and bonding with them is very meaningful in terms of development. So if you are a fellow expecting mom or you already have a baby or toddler at home that is between the ages of zero to 36 months kiwico has a special offer for you and all you have to do is go to kiwico.com slash beth baby and use the code beth at checkout to save 20 percent off on your first crate we have loved these crates so much for our family i know that you guys will too so thank you so much to kiwico for working with me on today's video Next up, we're cleaning the Mezzacar seat. 
The nice thing about having your babies close together is that car seats don't expire in the timeline that we've been cranking out kids. So we've had all three of our kids in this car seat now, but it's just been sitting in the garage because obviously none of them have been in this for a while. So we need to give it like a little bit of a vacuum. I also pulled out the Bissell carpet cleaner just to see if there's any spots that would have gotten yeah you can kind of see there there's just like a little bit more wear and tear on it but we'll give it a good clean up you guys I am reporting back the next day so I did say I wanted to get everything done in one day but I'm also notorious for setting like the most unrealistic expectations for myself I'm more of like a shoot for the moon and even if you miss you'll land among the stars kind of gal so that's definitely what yesterday was we got 11 out of 15 total tasks completed on my list and then after that point we were going to take a break but we ended up just taking the kids outside because it was so nice out and doing like a ton of backyard cleanup and like raking and then it came inside and my husband was like i feel like cleaning so you know i had to jump on that so we ended up doing like a full declutter of the closet in my son jude's room so yesterday was like the most productive day but i'm feeling ready to jump back in because today i want to tackle more of the like fun things that actually are what make me feel like i'm the most prepared and that's having everything set up in the drawers in our bedroom so that's what we're going to tackle today also if you hear any background noise in here it's either my kids during quiet time or it's the sound of the workers that are currently in our kitchen because this week is the week that we are basically redoing the kitchen with fresh paint. So I mentioned it a couple weeks back, but we are, I don't know if you would say remodeling, renovating, we're basically resurfacing our kitchen because we aren't pulling anything out, but we have a professional painting team in there right now that is repainting all of our cabinets. We're changing out hardware. We're doing the backsplash differently. So it's like a full kitchen transformation taking place out there right now, which is very exciting. But they do have the sounds of like the blow dryers and the primer spray and everything going on out there. So if you hear any sort of background noise, it's because there is like a full house nesting process taking place right now. So this is the current state of our room after the last time that I filmed an update. Basically, all of the laundry was washed. It took me so much longer to do that and like dry it all than I was anticipating but what I've done just for the sake of time is sort through the different piles of things that I had in there so everything that is currently in this basket is a clothing item that needs to be hung on a hanger and I have a little box of hangers over here so at some point today I'm gonna try and get all of the things that need to be hung hung up in the closet in the girls room I also separated out just a couple of the pieces that were six to nine months because I'm gonna just put those into a basket in their room this pile over here is all of my burp claws and to be honest this is overkill like I don't think that you need to have this many burp claws I kind of did with our second because he was like colicky refluxy so I was reaching for these all the time and I mean between like the diaper bag and our bedroom the playroom I'm sure I'm just gonna like distribute these around but that's a lot of burp claws I did also get my order from kite baby in the mail and I'm so excited to unpackage and wash all all of that stuff but what we need to do now is get all of this situated because I just kind of like when I separated all of this jammed a bunch of stuff into these drawers I'm thinking this will be like PJs and accessories this one will likely be like um, little onesies and pants and things like that for the first like I don't know like zero to six months and then I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this I'm thinking like baby care items but 
up here will be the change pad zone and then in here I'm thinking that again I really liked my setup last time of having diapers and wipes and burp claws be in here because then it's all nice and accessible across the top and the other thing that I want to get done is just finishing off my little like postpartum basket so pulling some of those things out and getting them into the bathroom and I feel like everything else you guys have seen like I folded and washed all of my towels for birth we've got the bassinet set up with her little baby blanket and then back here I just have a couple more things that are just set aside for birth I've started packing a hospital bag but still need to add a couple things into that so we'll see how much we get done in the next couple hours Okay, you guys, I think I officially figured out the layout of everything. So we have our little diaper change station right here. All of the goodies for diaper changes right beside. So I have my newborn diapers, my Pampers Pure Wipes, which are my favorite, some swaddles on hand, and then some burp claws. And then in the drawers down here, I did change this one. I did just want to have them be a little bit more accessible. So I ended up doing the bodysuits or like onesies side by side to the pants and then I just have some socks here over here is just more general baby care stuff and then some backup stuff in the back so I have a couple more clean burp claws back there if I run out of those ones and my Solly wrap and then I have her little lovey here a little hairbrush some other just random baby care stuff like probiotic drops diaper cream and then some products from chlorine as well as my pumps and then this drawer is all of her PJs so I've organized it so that like the newborn ones are on the top and then underneath are like zero to three three to six months and then I think there's a couple of like six to nine in the back but for the most part I'm going to keep all of those set aside for now boots and socks and little shoes these are all of my pacifiers hair bows I'm very happy with the setup right now I feel like this is all very functional as always if it's not working for me when she arrives I'll switch things up but for the most part I'm very happy with how all this turned out. Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay from the moment that we met You were the way Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know 
Okay, do you want a little sneak peek of the kitchen? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. It's super loud out here because the dryers are drying all the primer right now, but this is what it's looking like so far. That is about all of the nesting that I have in me for now. I'm coming up on 38 weeks. I want to say either tomorrow or the day after, so I'm feeling very, very relieved that I got as much done as I was able to do in the past couple days. Let's just recap real quick. We pulled down the baby bins from the garage, sorted through and washed all the clothing by age, set up the bedside bassinet, cleaned out the car seat, cleaned out the bassinet attachment for the stroller, unboxed new baby products, sanitized new baby products, created a baby play basket, set up change table basket, a postpartum basket, did all the baby drawers, sterilized the soothers, sterilized the breastfeeding gear, sterilized the baby bottles, and changed the timeline for my birth tub pickup. There is nothing like that last little bit of motivation to just kick your butt into gear and get stuff done. The only thing that I did not complete out of the 15 items was packing a hospital bag, and I still need to do that. I've kind of started one over here. There's a couple more things that I want to finalize for that but I hope that you guys did enjoy coming along with me for my nesting journey for baby number three. I wanted to remind you that if you are interested in checking out KiwiCo's Panda Crate for your baby or toddler between zero and 36 months that I do have a discount with them. So if you want to take advantage of that all you have to do is go to KiwiCo.com slash BethBaby and use the code Beth at checkout and you can save 20% off of your first purchase. So thank you to KiwiCo for working with me on this video and if there are any things that I have missed in this nesting process that have just like completely slipped my mind, please let me know in the comments section because at this point I feel like my brain is honestly just like mush. So if there is anything I've missed, please let me know. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Until my next video, I love you so much. I am praying for you and I will see you soon. I'll never know.